so if you just put in carpet or wood floor, you'll notice that there is a gap between the two. All you do is you pick up one of these, they're called T-Molds. You can find, find them at uh, Home Depot in the tile section. And basically you just measure it to size, choose the style that you like, and then now uh, you just fit it in. Um, you do want to use silicone for this, or some sort of like, uh, I actually use this, so it's for flooring in particular. So liquid nail subfloor. Uh, and then you just put three dots in there, so you want to be a little bit liberal on how much you use. So I'd put like one dot here, one here, and one there. Um, that should keep it in pretty good and allow flexibility. The problem with putting a lot of it, you don't want to put like a, a solid line, because if you ever get this uh, chipped or you want to replace it, it's going to be a lot harder to get it out. Um, if you put the three dots, it just, uh, it, there's only three areas you gotta work out with like a chisel just to get it out. That's what I mean by the three dots. Just those three little, I guess they're lines. Just put three little lines like that. And then just go ahead and fit it in. All right, so I got it in place here. And I put a, like a chair thing with some weight on it. Um, that way you can press it down in the center because I noticed that on mine it was popping up a little bit. So I just put some weight there, and then once it's set, it should be all right. There won't be any gaps underneath it. So you can see it's pretty flush all the way across. That's it, so we'll give it, a, give it about a day to set, and then um, everything should look really nice. I've had this on there for about three weeks now. And it's doing pretty good. I haven't had any issues with it coming off, and it's uh, very solid.